Wilson and I'm from Washington State, Seattle, and specifically Tacoma, like about an hour south. <laughs> I'm teaching in Tanan, it's a county um, that's a part of Wenjo. I teach at the number one Tanan <laughs> um, uh, experimental primary school. And I teach third and first graders. I chose China because, well, I have a personal connection to it because I was born here. So I felt it was really important for me to come back and really experience like the culture and the people because I didn't get a chance as growing up to do that. So that's definitely a reason I chose China. Um, communicating with locals can be kind of challenging sometimes because with me, I look I am Chinese, but I don't speak it. I didn't grow up knowing it, and so the locals will continually t speak to me in Chinese, and I have to like really nicely like say, "No, I don't speak. I'm sorry." Um, and that can get a little bit awkward sometimes. But you just smile and you be as gracious as you can. Um, one of the most memorable parts of communicating with a local is I went out to dinner with a man and. He didn't speak any English and I didn't speak any Chinese, but we really did try um, to communicate as best like we use Google Translate or any, anything really to use. I think WeChat has been like my saving grace here because it can translate for you. Um, but I think it it shows you that it's not just verbal communication that's important, it's also like body language and just showing someone that you can be nice and like it extends outside of verbal and you can still have a good time. Um, for people who are considering this program, I would definitely say do it. It's so rewarding and you learn so much. Even though I've only been here for two months, like I learn something new every single day, so I would definitely recommend it.